Okay, hello, here we are with Matt in his visit to the IMG Volunteer Tennis Academy. Today we're going to take a look at his strokes. We're going to start with the backhand. You know, the only thing I... I mean, the main thing I see in the backhand, yeah? I'd like you to cover the ball with the wrist. Yeah, look at... You're never really flicking that wrist to cover it, yeah? Getting over it a little more. See how it finished without you having done that, okay? Let's try to loosen up the wrist hit the outside of the ball so you can put this a little more spin yeah the take back is pretty nice usually this, you see the pros taking it back just a little with the face of the racket a little higher okay let me show you feather for instance although you're a lefty but we can uh, backhand fed backhand fed all right let's try to flip him make feather a lefty. All right. And you're gonna see the take back is just a little different in the way they take the racket back. You see it? Okay. Yeah. So the tip of the racket usually points up when the pros take the racket back. Eventually they get to sort of the same position as you do. Yeah. Although I, I would even say, yeah, basically the same position. Okay. You hit. I like that you stay pretty sideways, yeah, through the stroke. That's exactly what Roger does. Look, he hits, goes out all the way, yeah, finishes with the cap of the racket above his hidden shoulder, but he only opens up to the court yeah, after the shot is done. So you're doing that very well. Just, yeah, I would just use the wrist a little more on that back and hit the outside of it a little more. But overall, it's it's pretty nice. Okay, pretty good technique. Maybe the take back that different style um, can help out too. Now let me flip you. Your forehand look pretty nice. Very nice on the way back, the technique. Yeah, I like that you're separating away from the body. Getting the racket, the left arm out pretty early. Coming from under, good locking position. Pretty good extension, good finish. Yeah, the only thing there, a little overdone how the, yeah, the tip of your shoes point to the middle. We don't want that. We want you out, yeah? Uh, or pointing straight to the net. Otherwise, you're not ready to recover for a shot that may come to this side, yeah? And you're maybe overdoing it a little bit. But the technique was very nice, okay? I like the take back. Good brushing of the ball. You end up wide, but just overdone a little bit, yeah? So, very nice forehand. Uh, here I can show you if you want uh, that of feather. You're gonna see very similar on the way back. Yeah, straight back from the ready position, short back swing, left arm out. He's gonna come from under the ball, get to that locking position that we call. Makes contact early, extends out before the finish, and he's gonna finish with the tops, the, the toes slightly facing in. Yeah, but not so overdone. Okay. Now let's take a look at your serve. You were playing this morning, huh? struggling with the serve a little. On the second serve, from what I saw, it's just you weren't accelerating, yeah, uh, enough. You kind of you got tight and you weren't accelerating. Remember, second serve, you got to accelerate just as much as in the first. Just put it into spin. Trophy position right here is very nice. Yeah, I like it. The racket is in position. The hips are coming out. Let me show you, Roger. Should my feet be closer together, though? Nah, it's okay. I mean, yeah, most of them, when they bring it forward, yeah. And maybe you're just a little open, okay? The feet is coming a little to the side. Maybe you could be a little more sideways, but the trophy position in itself is pretty nice. Let me show you Roger. Federer 2 is my lefty boy here. Sorry, flip him. Okay, so you're going to see Roger on his serve. Yeah, you have a style in between, yeah? Roger is, leaves the, the foot back. Maybe I can show you Mirny how he brings the foot forward. Let me get Mirny in the picture. The problem is that I get him from another perspective, yeah? Even if it's a lefty, you see the front of him, okay? So, but you're going to see how he brings the back foot forward just a little more, okay? And then I'm going to show you what we look for here. You do pretty good. This alignment, right elbow and left arm. Yeah, you have it almost perfect. Yeah. 
and the racket is in good position too. Okay, the strings to the side. Let's see where you go from there. The hips are also coming out fairly nice. Uh, the only thing I suggest is I'd like to see contact point a little more in front of you. I'm not sure this one was your second or your first, but still. Um, you want to find it out in front so you can put your body behind it, land well inside <coughs> with that front foot. And let me see the pronation of the wrist. Maybe there wasn't any there. Yeah, there was some pronation. But right, look, are you hitting the ball on the way up or on the way down? I think I was waiting for it to come down. Yeah, but look, and yourself, you were you were on the way down. Look, you're going up, down, and you hit. Okay, so you gotta be explosive and on the way up when you make contact with the ball to transfer the energy from the legs, okay? Otherwise, you lose that energy. You're gonna see Max here. He's gonna wait for the ball, low the legs, go up, yeah, make contact, and then he comes down. Yeah, so you gotta be more efficient at that, okay? Any questions? No. No? Alright. Remember, buddy, my name is Francisco. It's a pleasure to have you here at Boletieri. And this is my email address, just add an M in the end if you have any questions about this video. Okay? Are you going to get a copy of this? Yes. That's gonna, you're going to